Hello everyone, Heinlein here. In this video I will go through the taxiing and the takeoff uh, procedure in the MiG-21. Taxiing this aircraft can be a bit tricky and that is uh, because you don't have a nose wheel uh, steering on this aircraft. You Instead you are using differential braking. So before you start taxiing you need to uh, make sure how you uh, use the wheel brake. Uh, for me, it's uh, I have it bound to my HOTAS, so it's this button, but it's uh, by default uh, W. Uh, the braking are using uh, air pressure in order to brake, and you, on this uh, gauge here you can see your air pressure. And uh, when you are taxiing, uh, uh, try to uh, conserve your air pressure by not overusing your brakes, because uh, uh, you can't run out of uh, air pressure and you will have a bad time. And also, before I start taxiing, I like to set up my uh, relevant uh, radio sta station. Right now I don't have any, so uh, we're going to jump over that. So uh, now we're just going to start taxiing to uh, the runway. Uh, the see that oh, there's a bit too much light in it, so let's dim it a bit. Like so. And right now we are ready to taxi, so uh, uh, keep your finger on the brake button and slowly advance the throttle. And, oh, it started turning already, let's push the brake and right uh, rudder, uh, correction, left rudder I mean. Alright, now we're rolling. Nice and steady uh, RPM. Okay, right, full right rudder and brake. And there you can see the aircraft is uh, turning. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, every time I press the braking button, you can hear it from uh, the Punamic uh, system. I can at least hear it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can. Once the aircraft is rolling, you can actually use just your rudder to make small corrections. Right now I'm following full left rudder, and you can see the aircraft slowly turning. I believe the MiG-21 has like small springs in their uh, real, uh, their front, uh, the front wheel that makes it uh, possible to turn the aircraft. Okay, right now we are coming up on the runway and check the final. It's ready. Check the runway, it's clear. Check final again. Full right rudder and brake a bit. Let's get to the center line, like so. It can be a bit tricky to uh, get it lined up correctly, so... And let's uh, stop here for a bit. Like so. Just let it roll to a stop. And I think that's as perfect as we can possibly get it. Before we take off, I like to do a couple of things first. Uh, first, I uh, like to turn on my countermeasure system. It is uh, these two switches right here. I believe you only need this button uh, right here, but uh, I like to turn both on uh, anyways. Next up, uh, you need to flip uh, this cover right here, and this button right here, uh, right underneath, is uh, the one you push to uh, uh, release your countermeasures. Next up, I like to turn on uh, the landing uh, lights. Oops, like so. Next up, we need to uh, ta put, take our flaps into the takeoff uh, position. And the final uh, thing we need to do is uh, to turn on our pitot heat, like so. This is secondary. One. You only need one of them, but I like to take on both anyway. 
So, at this point you are ready to uh, depart. Uh, in order to do that we are going to uh, uh, push our wheel brake in. And then we are going to advance our throttle to full power and release the brake uh, brake once the afterburner uh, kicks in. Then we are going to uh, accelerate to uh, uh, 300 kilometers uh, an hour where we will uh, rotate. Uh, the aircraft will lift off uh, between 300 and 350 kilometers an hour. Uh, it really depends on the loadout and how heavy your aircraft is. At this point, we are uh, uh, at uh, we have a clean jet, so we don't have to worry much about it. Oh, and I almost forgot one more thing. It's not in the manual, but I like to do this anyway. It is to uh, uh, take this splint and turn it up. Uh, what is it called again? Uh, it's a uh, uh, the security uh, pin for uh, the landing gear so you don't have to fiddle with this so once you are trying to keep your nose up, uh, up after takeoff uh, basically all right so let's uh, take off uh, wheel brakes uh, in and advance the throttle ninety percent and release and try to keep it on the center line mm -hmm. at this point you can only use your rudder and ro start to rotate now and we are airborne 400 ok, gears up So, and let's put it, the gear back to neutral once the gear is up, like so, and flaps up. And since we are clean, we are climbing, the uh, speed is going up really fast, and you can uh, try to uh, climb at uh, roughly 500 kilometers an hour. It's uh, uh, the ideal uh, climbing speed. Yeah, it's, I'm really not used to flying a uh, sli uh, clean jet, jet so... Okay, let's uh, level out. Be careful uh, not to uh, pitch down too quick and pull negative G's or else your uh, uh, engine will stall because of uh, uh, fuel starvation. I will show you how to do an uh, in-air emergency start uh, in a later video. So, at this point you are nice and level and uh, you are ready to uh, go on uh, with your uh, mission. So thank you for watching and in the next video I will go through the uh, landing uh, procedures. Uh, thank you for watching and I uh, see you in the next video.